These scientists can still work from home after the Foundation was destroyed. No need to make headlines. This is a job for plain old Pete. Now to grab one of these sweet state-of-the-art rides. Okay, let's head to that first checkpoint. Get in at the checkpoint. Ooh, concert happening today. been to some great shows in the park. Hey, that sign will make a good ramp. Awesome! You got a little air on that one! Harry and I used to go to concerts out here every summer. Maybe we can bring that tradition back. Check? Right. I don't think this bike was supposed to provide its own fireworks. This isn't safe. At this rate, the battery will overheat and explode. I've got to hurry and get it to the bike station, where it can drain the charge safely. up on me, but this will be my first bicycle. Gotta hurry. Maybe I can vent some of this excess charge by depleting it with a speed boost. The bridge is blocked. Gotta get over there somehow. battery will safely drain, but I've got to tell Dr. Wynn a short circuit seems to have caused thermal runaway. If it didn't happen in the lab, I'll bet fluctuating outdoor temperatures are the culprit. I've got some ideas for better thermal regulation. Let's see what Dr. Young is up to out here. for helping us out with our machine learning trials. Similar to what you did in the Emily May Foundation, we're now teaching our drones what to do in the wild. Once you get yourself set up, this recording will continue. Okay, let's get up and running. This is a two-part trial. First, you need to teach the drone what it should target to protect our bumblebee population. Great, let's train some bee drones. Oh, and you need to do it before the drone depletes its charge. Sorry, we're working on battery life. Got it. Let's go. No thanks, bee-eating wasps. Oh. 
Now, in the second part of the trial, you'll teach the drone to identify and mark optimal nest sites. Be real estate. Here we go. Look for the flags. These are ideal relocation spots. Here we go. I'm like a bee real estate agent. A bee real estate agent. The drone will self-pilot home and upload the data. Thank you, Peter. That should be some good stuff for the AI. Hope Dr. Young finds it helpful. Hmm, these don't look like happy plants. So glad you can help. Clearly we've got a failure to thrive and we haven't yet been able to diagnose the reason. Can you sort it out for us? Thanks. These plants should be doing much better. Something's making them sick. All right, my little plant friends. What's got you feeling so sick? Hmm. You've got some kind of pathogen. What kind? Science, I love you. Huh. Looks like this pathogen usually affects plants in the river. But fish are immune to it. I think I just found our cure. Let's splice some genes. With a little genetic engineering, I can make you guys immune to this pathogen, just like these fish. Now I just need to get a cooperative sample. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Where are you? I promise you'll be back in the water in two shakes of a fin. This one won't work. Gotta catch another. Wrong species. Go fish. Gotcha. Now to take a quick sample. Don't worry, buddy. This won't hurt. That's one slippery sample secured. Now to take it back and splice it with the plants. All right, my leafy greens. Let's get you feeling better. I need to insert this fish gene. Let's see. If 
I splice this fish gene into your plant genes, I can give you guys immunity to this pathogen just like them. I know you can't understand me. Trust me, it's pretty cool. You're gonna make our community a whole lot healthier. Okay, Feast should be able to work with these. Can't wait to see him thriving. He'll be feeling better in no time. All right, let's help out EMF. Where's that kiosk? Hello, Peter. As you can see, these cassava plants are alive and quite hardy but grow too slowly for food production. We want to hybridize them with a more productive variety and would welcome your help. Cassava plants growing too slowly, huh? At the ESU. A professor there just discovered a new variety that grows impressively fast. They'd make a great hybrid. Their rare variety of the Asian cassava plant grows like crazy. And I'll only need a single leaf to splice with ours. The professor is always looking for practical applications. She'll be super into doing a collab. Oh no. No. Someone stole the cassava? I've got to track down the thieves before they get too far. Maybe there are some traces of pollen still in the air. Got it. Glad this plant is a wind pollinator. It releases so much pollen, I can see the path they took. Now let's see where these pilfering plants went. Right. There it is. That's like a rock star plant with all that security. So why are we going to fight this exactly? Untraceable poisons. Definitely not trying to feed their community. Just think of me as your friendly neighborhood Venus flytrap. These thieves have no idea what they stole. This cassava's DNA could help us feed so many people. seen a lot of things stolen, but potted plants? I guess when people hear the word rare, they just want it. that plant. You couldn't have walked far. All right, buddy. One quick stop at feast, and then we'll get you back home. Glad we nipped this nefarious plant in the bud. See what I did there? Yeah, I knew you would. Wait, your name's not Audrey, is it? Parker, stop talking to the plant. bit of your super special genetic material to help your cousins grow faster. 
Okay, so we want some extra growth genes from our guest plant. Let's see. There he is! Huh? Oh, no, you're not touching that! That plant must be really special to you! Get that machine thingy! Little spider smarter. So smart. Did I say that? We just followed you straight back here. Bring it I need a suit like that! <laughs> 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 How do these fit together? And there we go. The plant will be secure in this workbench until ESU can buff up their greenhouse security. Feast will really be able to improve their crop yield with these new hybrids. nesting boxes. Good. Peter, thanks for your help here. As before, we're training the drones to identify predators like rats and beetles so they can guard the bees' nesting boxes. Okay, let's get things booted up. Time for target practice. Bodyguards, Queen's Edition. Giving new meaning to Queen's B. Yes. Rat attack, rat. Good. These are Queen's Bees. But not to be confused with Queen Bees. Unidentified predator detected. Uh oh, what's that? Better go check that out. Whoa! That bird! It's going after the nests, trying to eat the bees. Aha! Meropody albicollis, the white throated bee eater bird. It's right there in the name. I need to shoo this bird back to wherever it came from. I wonder if this drone has a real world mode. Cool. I can really encourage this bird to get going. Perfect. This is enough to annoy the bird, but not hurt it. If I can find out where it came from, I can see if there are others. Hey, bird! I can't follow you if you don't move. Get going! I'm giving you a little push. Birdie. Keep it moving, buddy. Gotta shoot him to scoot him. This is your home. 
must have escaped from here and gone out for a snack. Doors propped open. Better close it before you escape again. Got it. Okay, I think I'm done for now. The drone will pilot its way back to home base in no time. I'm not sure bee-eating birds are a citywide threat, but I'll mention it to Dr. Young. We should definitely program the drones to look for outliers like that. Okay, let's see what's the latest... These wind turbines are tiny but mighty. Once deployed on high altitude currents, they are a potentially self-sustaining source of clean power. Eventually, they'll shuttle back and forth to a dock. But right now, we're looking for a way to place these for an initial test run. I think I can get these up to the right altitude with the webways. They don't call it Brooklyn Heights for nothing. Here we go! Huh. Web wings alone aren't getting me enough lift. I need a little push. The intersection of Court and Montague is super windy. I've certainly lost enough papers walking through there. Let's use that as a natural wind tunnel. Now to deploy! Fly free, little turbine! Kabam! One more! There we go! Great! They're all happily launched! I'll just head back... The turbine's been compromised? What? How? Need to check on that. Calendron's attacking the turbine. I've got to stop him. Watch your boat. You guys again. I really wish we'd stop meeting like this. Stay out of our way. And we won't Ow. have to. Oh, really? Ah. I'm in your way? Ah. 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 I'm back in place. There. All up and running. I should make sure Dr. Wynn sets up some turbine security for these. Okay, Dr. Young. training session. You know the drill. Help the drone identify predators as well as optimal nesting sites. Just gotta boot up the drone. Let's do some target practice. Gotcha! Another one down. Prospect Park. Let's mark those nest sites. Got the bug? Yeah. Let's get it back to the garage. What just happened? Did someone steal the drone? I'll head to its last location before it went dark. See if we can figure out where it went.
Hmm. No sign of it. Or anyone. Those guys said something about a garage. There's a few close by. If I can find the right one, I should be able to reconnect to the drone from the roof. No connection. It must not be this one. Signal. This can't be the place. I'm telling you, it's fine. I'm just a little stunned. It's not really moving. Bingo. This is the place. Let's connect the video signal. Is this place and more importantly how do I get in there lots of cages in here more bees I don't know why these guys are collecting bees but I know they don't belong cooped up in here I'd better turn on that sonic laser mode let's kill two bees with one shot I free them and then they'll help me get that door open Our new contestants on foot to the face. Your men! Drone safety mode! Fly home! God, yeah. all right, guys, you gotta tell me. Bees? What? No. A bee related arrival! Come on, fellas! There has to be an easier way to make money! Why do you even care about them, bees? Do you know how many plants exist because of bees? <laughs> they play a critical role in... You don't care. Not that much. Here we go. Whew, that's all of them. I'll definitely let Dr. Young know about this poaching operation. It's no good for the bees, real or drone. What's this? Plants and a thumb drive? They say you should never plug in a drive of unknown origin. But I know Norman, I think. Peter! I put this together for you because I knew when we got through this crazy time, whenever we got through it, I wanted you to have these. And I wasn't positive I'd be here to give them to you myself. <sighs> Harry. After the Emily May Foundation was destroyed by Craven's hunters, I went to see what I could recover before it got boarded up. In the box, you'll find a piece of bark from my mom's tree and one of May's blossoms. And I thought, if you gene splice them together, you might get a hardy enough plant to produce seeds. Wow. Well, okay. we salvaged from the field studies? We just leveraged their relocation data sets to plant those seeds around the city. You're some kind of genius, Harry Osborne. Let's get those bees working. 
I know, I know. It'll be years before we see the results. And who's to say where you and I will be a week from now, let alone years from now? Which is why I did this simulation to show you. So Emily and May will live on in the city, and of course, in us. I love you, Pete. I really do. And I know the Foundation didn't end up going the way I'd hoped, but there's still no one I'd rather have tried it with. I bet by the time you get this, we'll have already started a new Foundation. Just me and you. From scratch. Go us. Go us? Oh! One last thing. I... Got a little something for you. We're in good health. Love you. Thank you. 